Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really super fun festival fashion 2019 tutorial for you guys and I'm going to focus on cute as well as comfortable clothing. I know a lot of people are in the same boat as me. Whenever I go to festivals, I feel like I need to be comfortable, especially because I'm shuffling. Get her up. Get her up. So before I get started, I just want to give a special thanks to Dolls Kill and all the other brands that supported my video. So without further ado, let's get started. I thought it would be a great idea to go through categories of items, just kind of let you guys know what my favorite options are. So we're going to start with tops. I just want to talk about the top that I'm wearing. So this one is from Bear and Bambi, a super cute piece. It's got the Moschino taping all around and as you can see at the back, it's just the one piece. Definitely going to be one of my go-tos for this season. I like that it's really super stretchy and comfy. Probably if I'm going to be doing some intense shuffling in it, I would be wearing some sort of mesh over piece just so that I don't feel like I'm going to bust out of my bra <laughs> like most women feel like if you're a little bit chestier and you still want to shuffle. All right, so the first piece I'm going to talk about is halter styles. So I think halter styles, if you kind of want to keep the girls in check the entire time and you're not really wanting to show as much cleavage, I definitely think this is a great option. This one here is from Glitter Romance. It's got the really cute pom-pom details that wraps around a few times. I really like this piece because you can kind of wear it with anything. Great color. I love that it's got the shimmer metallic material and overall it's nice and stretchy so it kind of form fits to however your body type is. So really great piece. Again, this one is from Glitter Romance. Okay, so another great top that maybe you guys have seen me wearing recently is this one here. I got it at Brave with Magente. Great, great piece. I actually do not wear a bra when I wear this. I do not struggle when I'm shuffling, which I'm really super surprised because normally it's just uncomfortable. But this piece here, I guess because of the vinyl front uh, area, I just find that it's super supportive and this literally will go with anything. I like that it's kind of got a more like dark vibe to it, so super awesome piece. When it comes to tops, I just really like to wear something that's supportive, that's comfortable and doesn't cut in weird spots. And I like to look for things with elastic or anything that's got a stretchier material. Moving on to the category of bottoms. I think bottoms are my favorite piece to kind of style my outfit around. One of my favorite go-to bottoms is either a high waist cargo or just like high waisted loose pants in general. So this pair is from Dolls Kill. Really super cool, I don't know if you can see, but it is a reflective material, super trendy right now. I know pretty much all rave stores are offering this reflective material. And I love this feature on the side with the orange stripes. Neon is super in and I feel like if it's bright neon, it kind of just goes with everything. So again, this one is from Dolls Kill. It's got a nice high waist, which is awesome. And the bottoms have the stretch tight bottom, which is something I look for whenever I wear pants. High waisted is definitely key when you're going to a festival because if you're drinking or you're eating and you just don't want to worry about how your stomach looks the entire time of um, sucking in, because I know that's what I do, <laughs> um, it's definitely a great option to feel a little bit more comfortable and not worry so much if you're gonna have a little too much to drink. You don't have to worry about bloating in your stomach. So the next pair I wanna talk to you guys about is this kind of loose fitting jogger style pants. These ones are really great because again, they're high waisted. Love the neon panel again. So this is more of a yellow neon. I'm super into these kind of neon accents on garments. I think it's a really great trend for festival season. And I just love the loose fit of these. They feel like you're wearing pajamas. They're super, super comfortable to wear. And again, they've got this tight stretch bottom. So super comfortable as well. These ones are from Rave with Magente and I really like these. They're super comfy. So when it comes to bottoms, I like to buy anything that's high-waisted. Another great option that I really love are these biker shorts. I pretty much wear biker shorts anytime I go to a festival. I love the fact that they kind of go up really high and then they've also, they're not too short at the bottom, so they're not as revealing if you're going to be doing a lot of movement or activity at a festival. These ones here I got at Frankie Collective but there are so many different places that you can get biker shorts at. I think they're a huge trend right now. I also find if I'm wearing more of a high cut bottom, 
I like to wear a fishnet short underneath just because I like the added comfort of knowing that I've got another layer underneath more of a high cut piece. Um, again, that's totally up to your own preference. All right, so moving on to my favorite category, sets. Sets are the ultimate best thing you can buy for festivals and just in general because you not only have a complete outfit as a go-to if you just don't know what to wear and you just want a bomb outfit or you have a matching top and bottom piece that you can then wear with different other coordinating pieces. So you're kind of getting multiple outfits all at once. One of my favorite places to get two-piece sets is from Dolls Kill. They have a huge selection of them, whether it's with biker shorts or um, two tops, I find that they have really awesome pieces. The first one that I wanna to talk to you guys today about is this set here. So it's a mesh checkered kind of rainbow set. It's by Sugar Thrills from Dolls Kill. Super, super cute. I don't know if you can see, I'll kind of hold them up closer, but it's kind of a see-through mesh here. So of course you'd have to wear something underneath but oh my gosh, how cute is that? Like if you wanted to wear the top or the bottoms by themselves, I think it would be a cute look. I personally definitely be wearing these to an upcoming festival together. And then for the underpiece, you can kind of just wear a nice pair of high cut rave bottoms. And for the top, you could either do like a tube style underneath or even just like a strapped crop top, I think would be a really great piece underneath this. But yeah, super cute, love the set together. I think it's an awesome go-to piece from Dolls Kill. Okay, so here's a little bit more of a sportier look. I actually wore these biker shorts by themselves in a past music video that I just did with Zionify. But this set is super cute because it's got the one piece shoulder top. Super amazing, comfortable material. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's just kind of like a knit kind of sweater material. It's super, super comfy. And I was a little worried about the light bottoms being able to show sweat stains. Nobody likes to see the butt sweat. These ones here, actually, when I was wearing them all day in, in the music video, I was dancing a lot. And you actually couldn't see any sweat through them at all. They are double layered. I don't know if you can kind of see through here, but it's kind of like a double layered fabric. So it's actually a lot more comfortable and it's not see-through such a great color for this festival season. I'm seeing it pop up everywhere. So the next set I wanna to talk to you guys about is this gorgeous set from the Lumi shop. So it's got a kind of bikini style top, really great fabric. It's kind of like a spandexy nylon fabric, really soft and comfortable. And then the skirt is absolutely stunning. The back of the skirt is completely flat, but then you've got these kind of side slits in the front. This is awesome for those that like to dance and shuffle because you're not restricted like you would be in a normal skirt. You've got the added ability to move with these slits here. Um, and so this is kind of a great piece, especially because you'd be wearing something underneath anyways, like a pair of shorts. So you don't have to worry so much about your skirt riding up or being too tight and restricting movement when you're dancing or shuffling. So I really, really like this set. I think I'll be wearing it to an upcoming festival. The kind of multicolored sequin fabric is just to die for. I'm just literally obsessed. It's so cute. Okay, so when it comes to a more high cut bottoms for rave pieces, I absolutely love these bottoms from Bare and Bambi. They're like a nice stretchy spandex material. They're a great cut. They don't cut too high. I find a high cut piece is a little bit uncomfortable for me personally when I'm dancing at a festival. That's all again up to your own personal preference, but I absolutely love this set. Um, I love the top too. It's kind of like a tube style. It's nice and fitted. So. Anytime I'm doing a tube style, I need something to be really super tight so that way it's not sliding down as I'm dancing. But yeah, overall love this set. I think it would be great for a more like street style look that you're rocking to a festival. I love a street style festival look, I know. My fellow dance partner, Sam, or Soulless, as you guys know her, she loves to wear street style and she always rocks it. Street style is definitely a great kind of look for a festival if you want to be more comfortable and still look fly as fuck. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, so kind of a bit more of a rave look if you want to call it that. So this set is from Rolita Couture. This set is super cute. It's a nice fun set. And if you're wanting to do something a bit more low cut, but keeping that more restrictive top so that way you're not feeling like your <laughs> boobs are gonna fall out of your top basically. I really love this top 
And then the bottoms here, I personally would probably wear these again with fishnet shorts. Again, that's just my personal preference whenever it comes to really cut, high cut rave bottoms and I want to be comfortable still. I always end up putting or throwing like either a mesh pair of shorts or fishnets underneath. I just personally find it to be more comfortable and then I'm not like stressing throughout the festival if my ass is hanging out. I think it's a really awesome, um, more rave inspired look maybe for EDC or if you're going to more of like a big name rave festival, I think this is a great set for that. All right, so this is a really funky, cool set that I got from Dolls Kill. I love that it has a jacket style top, but let's take a look at these pants. So. It's got all of this buckle detailing, which I absolutely love. I know the buckles are a big trend this festival season, but oh my gosh, I love the kind of windbreaker material as long as it has a mesh under layer because again, you don't want this sticking to your skin if you start to sweat. But yeah, if it has a mesh under layer, I find it to be um, a lot better and more breathable as well. But these ones have got the nice stretch tight bottom and they're a high rise. I love the color mixed with the black. I think you could do really nice grave crop top or even just like a nice sporty crop top too if you wanted to do more of a sports bra. Absolutely love this together. And then you get this nice added bonus of this really cute jacket. And I like that it's cropped and stretchy as well. I think that you could wear this on its own with a separate outfit as well. Don't know if I'd be wearing these together all the time. I think it's definitely a really funky, vibrant outfit. And I'd probably pair this with something like this top here. I think it would be a super cute look. That way, like if it's colder or you know, if it's winter, especially I live in Canada, I'm always looking for something to throw over my outfit. This is a really great option because you can always take it off after, but it just looks super cute still even together. So I really like this look as well. I'm moving on to what I think is the most important category when it comes to being comfortable and looking cute at a festival. So cover-ups. So I'm gonna kind of talk about this a lot because I have so many different pieces and, and types of cover-ups that I like to wear. But I think the most important thing about cover-ups is that if you don't know if the weather is gonna be hot or warm, or you're worried about being a little too revealing at a festival, so you wanna kind of have that added kind of level of comfort with a cover-up, or you just kind of feel like you want to have an extra accessory to kind of complete your outfit. I think cover-ups are so key. So the first one I want to talk to you guys about is this mesh set from GoGuy. Actually, again, got this from Dolls Kill, who does carry GoGuy clothing. But oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. So I'm just going to take the shorts out. So this is, again, one of those amazing pieces that you can throw something over top of, whether it's your rave bottoms or you can wear it underneath. These are definitely something that I'll probably wear a lot and I just love how they have the go guy taping on the top. Super, super cute. And that little bit of neon green um, hint of that at the bottom. But the top is also super, super amazing. Love that it's got the buckle here. Again, if you're wearing something a little more revealing on top, but you kind of want to have that added level and layer of security, this is super great because it pretty much only exposes the front part, which is basically the top you'd be wearing. And then you've got that nice kind of layer over top and also just super cute for styling and accessorizing. I think it's a great piece. I love that GoGuy kind of mixes raving with streetwear. It's a super cute look. And I think that you could kind of do a lot of different things with this piece. It's a great value piece, I think, just in general having the set. So yeah, again, this is from Dolls Kill, but I'm pretty sure you can buy it on the go guy website as well so next i want to talk to you about this super cool set from x luna i'm pretty sure you guys have seen me wearing this recently oh she's coming back let's go I love having this one piece underneath and then how it comes up to the top of the neck and then you've basically got only one fishnet sleeve. Really cool for accessorizing. I think it's a cool, cool look. And then they've got these really awesome bottoms that go with it. These ones here have that nice piece underneath so you could still actually wear them by themselves, which is super cool. I think that you could definitely wear these to a festival alone or if you wanted to wear them underneath maybe a really low cut bottom and you wanted to have the fishnet showing through, I think that's also a really great option. I love these bottoms and the material itself is kind of like a spandex. So again, super, super comfortable and something I always look for when I'm buying rave clothing 
is comfortable material. So this one definitely gets a thumbs up for me and it's tried and tested from lots of shuffling in it. So this next piece is a mesh dress. This is a really cool concept for a cover up idea. It's got a really cool design to it. It's got this kind of swirly like psychedelic design, super cool for maybe like a camping festival. And the bottom is kind of like a flare style. So it gives you that really nice mobility for dancing in and just feeling comfortable. So yeah, I give this piece an A plus. I super obsessed with it. I think it's awesome. Another kind of mesh um, over piece to when you're wearing, for example, something like this or a top that's like a tube style and maybe it's a bit colder outside or again, you just want to kind of be a little bit more comfortable. I'm actually obsessed with this one here. Overall, it's just like a really cool added touch to an outfit and if it's cold or you kind of just want to cover up your shoulders and your sleeves, it's a really great option. So I love this piece here. I've got my little my little beeb here. He is also one of the best rave festival accessories, aren't you? I think his favorite pick is sleeping in bed instead of going to a rave. And I think he hates me right now and wants me to put him down. Any type of mesh t-shirt dress is so key, especially if you're wearing something a little bit more revealing, like uh, more of like a rave style top and high cut bottoms. This is like my go-to piece for that. And actually also wear a pair of denim shorts underneath um, as long as they're fitted and high rise. And even if you know you're at the beach or you just want to look super cute, but at the same time be comfortable and have that kind of layer over top. This is a really great piece. This one is from Current Mood by Dolls Hill. And I absolutely love all the little stars and moon detailing on it with the silver glitter. I think it's a super cute piece. And because it's black, it'll pretty much go with anything. And finally, a really great type of cover up, a kimono. You see these all over the rave scene and at festivals. This one is kind of like a new take on a kimono. I absolutely love these kind of little fuzzy details on the sleeves and all down the front. It's such a beautiful piece and it's got sequins kind of crisscrossing all throughout the fabric. I love that it's super see-through, but at the same time, it gives this kind of glamorous vibe to it. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think it's gorgeous. Really nice if you're doing something a little bit more glamorous, maybe with sequins to add as a cover-up versus the t-shirt style. I think this is a little dressier looking. The next category I wanted to talk to you guys about is shoes. So when it comes to shoes, comfort is key. I'm just going to go through my personal favorite options that I normally wear to festivals or events that I stay super comfy in and I'm able to dance in because again, that's super important to me. This first pair is a pair of combat boots. I absolutely love a kind of higher combat boot because it supports your ankles if you're going to be doing a lot of dancing. These ones here are from Dolls Kill. They are super cute. I love the cut detailing here in the front and very affordable as well if you're planning on getting them dirty in the mud. They're a lace-up, but they've also got the zipper detailing on the side So you don't have to completely undo the laces every single time you want to put them on and I absolutely love this look with a high-rise sock or with fishnets um, And I think that it kind of adds a little bit of edginess to any outfit So this next pair I just picked up recently, but as you guys know, I like to wear vans a lot These ones here are super funky with the checker flame detailing and they're a nice neutral color so they would pretty much go with anything as long as you're not doing too much detail in the outfit I think the checker flame would really look super sick and I personally find bands to be super comfortable at festivals I always wear orthotics in all my shoes whether I'm dancing or I'm at festivals or events I just find that having that insole is just like a nice added layer of comfort in your shoes especially if you're standing all day like you really need to be comfortable and finally my favorite shuffle shoe as you guys know I've been rocking these for over a year now these are a new pair they're the Fila disruptors um, I got these especially for festivals and events because I love the neon detailing on them they've also got reflective strips in the back and on the side but super cool when you're kind of indoors and there's like lighting and stuff I find the reflective looks so cool and I just love that they have the neon stripe all the way around I love that they're all black so you don't have to worry about getting them dirty in terms of comfort Fila's are the best because they've got this nice chunky rubber bottom piece that is so clutch when you're standing on your feet a lot or dancing all day like I do. And yeah, they've just
just got a little bit of height to them as well, which is always nice when you're super short. So these are my go-tos. I also have them in just a plain black with a white sole. And then I also have them in all white because you need to be able to coordinate with every single outfit. And because they're my favorite shoe, I just wear them all the time. I'm probably gonna do a bit more of a longer tutorial on accessories later on because I think accessories are super fun and a nice way to add flair to your outfit. So that concludes my festival fashion haul for 2019 of my cute and comfy choices and options. For all the item information and links to purchase, you can find them below in the description of the video. If you're looking for any of the pieces, then definitely check that out. Thank you so much for all the brands that were involved, especially Dolls Kill. You can definitely check them out if you're more interested in the brand. I think they offer great rave and festival fashion options. If you guys have any feedback for me or if you want to comment on some of the items you saw in this video then definitely leave me your feedback i'd love to hear you know if these are pieces that you guys like to wear as well thank you guys so much for watching it's really awesome that you can support me in this and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos thanks guys have a good one bye